Hey everybody, it's Bruno and welcome to MB. Click on the subscribe button below here and you'll never miss an episode. And also you can follow us on LinkedIn and on Facebook on Megapix Media. Enjoy the episode. really interesting uh, encounter I had here was uh, was Stu Hart. Uh, yeah. Stu used to come down here with his wheelchair and, and the Hart family. I know Brett comes down here once in a while, but he sat right next to us one day and boy, what a treat. He, uh, you know what, you wouldn't find uh, a, probably a more well-known Calgarian than Stu Hart and a kinder man. Stu it was renowned his his generosity and him opening his house to anyone, but he did so much stuff behind the scenes that people don't even know about and I'm just privy to hear about his kindness because you know close contact with some of his his family but Stu was the kind of guy that he no word of a lie this happened he would driving home and he'd see somebody walking home with uh, with uh, groceries and, and and what have you and uh, pull over get that person in the car load up the groceries drive them home, help them unload. Uh, many, many times he'd pick up the tab uh, for up and coming young wrestlers that, that didn't have you know, two nickels to rub together. He'd put them up, he'd feed them, help them get a, to get a start. And this is stuff that he did like just quietly, you know, and that's just the kind of guy uh, Stu was. You can do this for hours and hours and hours, and you know we're gonna do this again and again. But I wanna ask you, you know, right now it's 2019, end of 2019, all this coaching stuff that's going on. I know how involved you are in the sports community. You help, you know, build the stadiums, and you've coached at every single level. What do you make of, of what's coming out of this uh, conduct and coaching right now? I, you know what, I, I think we have to be careful. There's no question that uh, coaching has to evolve. Uh, there's no place in coaching for physical abuse, for for you know, mental abuse and, and racism, none whatsoever. But let's not let's not let the pendulum swing so much that work that it clouds over discipline that it clouds over accountability you know Bruno I'm afraid that you know uh, we, 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 you know people are going to use it or athletes going to use you know uh, you know hard nosed coach or accountability as a crutch for their failures okay there's a fine line between you know abuse and, and, and discipline you, you know what I mean and when you cross it then you're you're abusing right but you know if someone gets in your face once in a while you know and, and makes you accountable that's not abuse right so uh, it bothers me now that um, and especially when it's coming from thugs you know guys that, guys that made millions not because of their skill but because they're you know hockey fighters and I, I'm gonna say it, Carcillo or Sean Avery and you're and, and, and you're you know you made your living being a goon you, you know you're you're irritating you know you're you're the number one um, uh, how do you say it wanted man out there and now you're calling out you know Mike Babcock or Mark Crawford you, you know you know what I'm saying like Let's 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 take it for what it's worth, okay? No place, I reiterate, no place for racism, no place for sexual abuse, no place for physical abuse. But you know what? If uh, we need discipline, people, athletes, children, people need to be made accountable, Bruno. So let's not use this pendulum now to give everybody a get out of uh, jail card because it's just it's just too easy these days to to pass the buck, bro. Well, you know, we've had these conversations for years and years and years about coaching and even with our coaching program for behavior is that one of the things that uh, is kind of in the, in the forefront right now is that every sport, it used to be that certain sports like polo, you know, was an expensive sport, an elite sport. Now every sport really, uh, Evan over here is a professional golfer behind the behind the camera. That's not a cheap sport. No. Uh, hockey's, you know, you have to have a little bit of what to do as a family to push them up there. And uh, I think the demographic of people, of uh, kids and, and young athletes now that climb the ladder, they, they've been surrounded by, you know, mostly a, an environment of support and open openness and other choices because a lot of these kids go to good schools, um, you know, in the hockey field and, you know, it's not a cheap sport. So I think that opens up a little bit more um, ability to dialogue openly with some people that, you know, you can't pull, pull that stunt, to, you know, prior to that they used to have a lot of kids that didn't have a lot of money and that was their only way out and you see, you hear a lot of stories about um, 
you know, people from uh, outside the North American that do anything to make it to North America through sports, especially baseball, let's well, say. exactly. And they're willing to do anything, and that's kind of maybe an avenue for abuse and stuff like that. But I think in hockey, football, here in Canada, any sport, really, uh, because we put so much money and time, and parents have to be somewhat involved. No question. I, th I think that might be a thing of the past, hopefully. Well, yeah. And uh, like I said, we coaching evolves. And yes, you, it's different styles now, Bruno. You know, the same with our parents when they grew up. You know, I think our grandparents were tougher than our parents. Our parents are definitely tougher than we are. And at what has it? As you know, as time goes on, technology, that life gets a little gets a little easier. You know, we have more to give than our parents had to had to give. And uh, and I think you know um, we're getting better. With, with how we treat people and how we interact with people. But I just don't want it clouded over where just because someone is maybe stern or someone that, that, that you can use abuse for a crutch because someone tells you the truth, right? You know what abuse is, we know what racism is, we know, uh, you know what we're talking about. Let's not, let's not paint that brush over just because someone is being honest and it's calling you out once in a while, right? right. So let's just be cognizant that just because someone calls you out doesn't mean it's abuse. I mean, it has, you, it has to be done in a fashion that I believe is respectable, in a fashion that that doesn't doesn't demean you. But I think every now and then we need to know the hard the hard facts. You know, I I, I really mean that. Uh, I really mean this is that. Hey everybody, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Remember, if you want someone you know to be our next guest, simple. Click below in the description and we'll get in touch with them. Thank you for watching and please subscribe and you'll never ever miss another episode.